So friends, let's see today's delicious and easy to make soya bean curry. So now, now I've boiled two cups of water and I'm going to add 100 grams of soya bean chunks. We're going to let this boil for about two to three minutes and then turn off the heat. Take off all of this and keep it aside. Now we're going to let it cool for some time to at least come to room temperature. So these are really very high in protein and really good for health. So now let them cool. In the meantime, I'm going to take two large onions that I've sliced and I'm just going to fry them till they're golden brown. So keep stirring the onions in, in intervals and we want to get this lovely golden brown color. And then we're going to, once the onions turn golden brown, we're going to take them out and keep them aside till they come to room temperature. So fry them. It took me about uh, two minutes for the onions to turn nice and golden brown in color. Now in the meantime, the soya bean chunks have cooled down. So we're just going to press them between the palms of our hand and just remove all the extra water. So drain off all the excess water in this way. Just squeeze it out. And once we do that, we're going to put them into the oil uh, in which we were frying the onions and just fry them a little bit till they are golden brown in color. So just for about two minutes, just stir them about till they're nice and uh, crispy and a little, uh, you know, the rawness of the soya chunks goes away. We're just going to fry them. And then once that's done, we're going to take it and uh, set it aside in a bowl. So Just fry them for a minute or two on a low to medium flame. This dish gets ready really quickly. Like the entire process took me about 25 minutes, right from frying the onions to everything. So you can do the onions at the side while you're making this. So now just transfer this to a bowl and again, let it cool to room temperature. Now in the meantime, uh, we're just gonna transfer the cool down onions to a mixer jar and we're going to grind it without adding any water to a very coarse paste like this. Now we're going to add some salt to taste to the soya chunks which have cooled to room temperature. Then we're going to add some chili powder. Next we're going to add some coriander powder or dhania powder half a teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric. And here I've taken half, one cup of dahi and I've just beaten it up and added it or whisked it. And now we're just going to mix everything well together into the soya chunks. And we're going to cover and set this aside for at least 10 or 15 minutes. Now in a, a pan, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of oil, spread the oil evenly. And we have these whole spices. So I have one bay leaf, I have one half an inch of cinnamon, five cloves, some peppercorns and some cumin and some javitri or mace. I also have one light green chili that I've chopped fine and about five to six cloves of garlic and a few a little bit of coriander for garnishing. So once the oil is hot, we're going to add all our whole spices inside and we're going to fry the spices really well. Next, we're going to add our green chili as well as the garlic and fry that well too. Now, once everything is fried, we're going to add our fried onion paste. And again, fry everything and mix everything well together. Now, once everything is mixed well together, we're going to add our marinated soya. And we're going to stir the entire mixture for about a whole minute because the there is some there is curd or dahi in the marinade and you know we want to fry that really well. So for a whole minute, just keep stirring the mixture. You'll have to excuse the noise of the. I think you're hearing a cooker. It's my neighbor's cooker. So uh, please excuse the sounds. Okay, and then stir everything really well together. 
and the mixture starts to become a darker color. Now we're going to add just half a cup of water because we need uh, you know a curry or a gravy. You can add more if you want it uh, you know much more uh, thinner and then mix everything really well together. And now I'm just going to add one teaspoon of kasuri methi, just crush it a bit. And we're going to add one teaspoon of garam masala. This is homemade garam masala. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Do remind me if I forget. And one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. Mix everything really well together. And then we're just going to cover and cook this for about two to three minutes on a low to medium flame. And our lovely soya bean chunk curry is all ready. All you have to do is just mix it a little bit and garnish it with some lovely fresh coriander leaves. And one tip I'd like to give you here is always buy coriander leaves which have these small little white flowers on them because that is really the good coriander. So I hope you try out this recipe. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up, so just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.